Welcome back to Ozark's Fox Day, and we're live from MTI here in Springfield. And Bethany, I'm ready for my phlebotomy. We are. My arm's out, ready to go. We are a go. Hold on. Let's okay. get this going. I'm just kidding. Oh. Look, it's not my, it's a, what? Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> okay, we're being goofy, but phlebotomy, it's a serious, yes. it's a serious trade, okay? And Bethany, tell us about the program here at MTI. Yeah, so our program is five weeks. Um, it's fast-paced. We cram a lot into five weeks. Uh, we learn everything from the basics, so rules and regulations. We get that out of the way in the first week, and then we have fun in the second week. Um, and then we really just dive right into phlebotomy, why we do it, how to do it properly. We all have stories about experiences. Uh -huh. So we, we really just want them to know what they're doing before they leave and just feel confident. So that's really what I'm doing for five weeks is building confidence in all of my students. And it's just a fun time in my class. Now I have to admit something and our viewers know I am blonde and sometimes I have dumb blonde moments. And so when I first heard phlebotomy, I thought, wow, phlebotomy. the brain, yes. phlebotomy. A so needle. Let's, let's you know, simplify it just a little bit. Phlebotomy. Phlebotomy is the art of drawing blood from a okay. vein. Okay, good, there we go. Nothing with the brain. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. The brain. What, what a career paths can you do with phlebotomy? Is that their specific job just to draw blood? Yes, so there is um, specifically just for drawing blood. However, it does open the door to to multiple different positions. So it really gets your foot into healthcare. Um, I even have a lot of people that are going through RN school and they just feel like they don't get a deeper dive into it, so they take my course. Um, and then I have people that wanna do the lab side of things and you have to start with how you get the specimens. So um, yeah, so there's just a wide variety of different positions that lead from phlebotomy. Wow. And knowing myself, I'm not the greatest with blood. So what type of person is probably best suited for a career in phlebotomy? I would say somebody who is outgoing. Because really, I mean, most people are scared. I personally don't like getting my blood drawn. But, you know, it has to happen sometimes. So somebody that can just overcome someone else's fear for them mm -hmm. and just reassure them. But also the fear of sticking a needle into another human. I mean, that's something that you have to be okay with. Yes, yes definitely. And I think um, learning the practices the safe way is what really helps with that. Learning how to do it the proper way um, leaves no room for error. Yep. So you really just, and confidence is key. So that's really the kicker there. Confidence. And so. before we get to our, uh, I guess, dummy arm over here. Yes. Would you, okay, what is in the kit that you have here? So typically in a normal kit, we have our needles, right? They don't look like what they do fully prepared. We have to piece them together. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have band-aids, alcohol, um, smaller needles, and then just different cleaning solutions. And then of course we have our tubes here. Mm -hmm. um, and then we sometimes even carry these little squish balls mm -hmm. just to calm someone's nerves. That's really what oh, they're for. That's not to pump up the vein. Give or take, it's more just to occupy their mind. Oh. Yeah. Okay, since you are the expert and the instructor, we're going to be your students. Could you now talk us through and, and actually draw some blood? Absolutely. Okay. This is my specialty. Okay. We're going to turn this guy around here. Now, I will say it is easier to draw blood on a real person. As surprising as that is, okay. the anatomy of it is just so much easier. Hmm. I would so, think it would be the opposite. Yeah, you would right? think, you would think. So we really <laughs> use the fake arms for that muscle memory, just getting our angles down, Okay. Our hand placement. Mm -hmm. um, so initially, we're going to put our gloves on. I've already pieced this together, so it looks all ready to go. Okay. And then I would grab my tube and place them close by. And then we have our alcohol pad. And it looks a little different on a fake arm, you know, just because yeah. it's not attached to a real right. person. Right. So we're going to clean our little area. We're going to pull this. This is a safety feature, which helps us after the process. Um, just so we don't hurt ourselves. Okay. Right. We're going to pull our cap off. I know. Doesn't oh, that look needle. intimidating? <laughs> um, so then what I would do is I'm going to find my vein. Oh and my theoretically, God. this is going to give us blood or Kool-Aid water. Oh, it's Kool-Aid water. Kool-Aid yes. blood. So we pull that out. And now we have our little tube. Wow. Absolutely. So I'm curious because, you know, they... Some arms are better at giving blood than others or retrieving yes. the blood. So yes. like my right arm is not good. So they always go to my left. Yes. What, what is that? Is that just because the veins are smaller or so, just? I mean, it really just depends person to person. Everybody's anatomy is different. Mm -hmm. um, you know, theoretically we have 
one vein on the outside of the arm, one in the middle, and one on the inside. Okay. Does that always happen? No. You're right. <laughs> um, no. And so that's really where it comes into play on how to find a vein. I think that's most important. And I struggled with that. Mm. I was like, I don't, what is this? What is this feel like? You? Where, <laughs> what am I looking for? So um, just finding the vein was the most important part. Yeah. If somebody wants to start this five-week program, what is the best way to, to research that and sign up? Yeah, I would say the best way is to go to our website um, and then also come in. I mean, it's really easy to just come through the doors, talk with admissions, and then come take a tour of my room. Mm -hmm. And my students, you know, they all know that they started on a tour. So it, we're really just open arms and ready to have anybody come through. Thank you so much, Bethany. Bethany. Thank you so much. We've had so much fun today at MTI. Your new career starts right here. Go check it out.